I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Sprints. I like to do this exercise because it forces me to make quick decisions. It's a great skill to have if you like to play online or if you like to play in tournaments because you play with a timer. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have my smartphone here with a stopwatch app. We're going to do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. I'm going to alternate between dealer and non-dealer. So we'll get 14 and 13 tiles respectively. And I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers. Oh, I forgot to start this timer. Start. All right, no multiples. I see a lot of two, four, six, eight though. That's where I would start, two, four, six, eight. We may or may not be able to use that dragon. So let's pass these three. We're gonna focus on two, four, six, eight. There's a two and an eight. There's our first multiple right there, eight. Two, four, six, eight, two, four, eight. We might be able to even play a pair hand here. Okay, there's a flower. Fives. We have to make a choice. Let's let the dragon go. So two, four, six, eight. We do have like number potential. Two, four, six, eight. We've got to give something up. Let's let the two go. Maybe the four instead. Let's see. Let's let this four go because we have more two, four, six, eight in dots. There's four. Two, four, six, eight. Pair hand, maybe. Let's pass these. That's a little risky. Let's pass these three. Dragon, wrong dragon. Here's a four. Six, eight, two, four, six, eight. Okay, now we have to make a choice. Here's two, four, six, eight. That's a hand right there. Let's see. Two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight. We have to make a choice. So let's see, two, four, six, eight, no gaps. Let's let the four go. There's a six. So we went with the no gap hand. Okay, no keepers there. Flower. Ooh, let's break those up, pass fully. lap. Okay. Oh my gosh. That was kind of hard. The two, four, six, eight, but look, we have the first two, four, six, eight hand with no gaps, single pair of Pung Kong. We got to build up here, of course, because we have just a pair and a single, but we can use any number of jokers there. And we have three flowers. We could Kong there, Pung here, just build up the eight. And then maybe use this for joker bait. If you don't know about joker bait, that is a strategy that was coined by Tom Sloper of Sloperama. There are videos that I've made that demonstrate that strategy. You basically keep a pair that you don't need for later in the game, and then you discard one. Someone calls it, exposes with a joker, and then on your next turn, you make an exchange. It's hit or miss, but it's fun when it works. Okay, so on to the next sprint. So here we go. Oh, 
Chokers. Okay, flower, sevens, sevens. I would focus on sevens, maybe even wins in sevens. I would break that up right now. Focus on sevens. Twos came in. That's funny. Okay, so we have to make a choice here. Let's do these three. Eight, north. We'll keep north. Let's pass these. Six, five, six, two, three. Let's put a two in there. We want sevens. There's a nine. Let's pass these three here. Flower. Uh, we have tiles here. I would let this north go and focus on like numbers with sevens. And there's sevens. Like numbers. Last right. Or this is optional cross. This is why you don't want to pass like numbers. Lap. Like numbers with sevens. We have three discards. Jokers to help. We could Kong two of those. Like numbers with sevens. Whoops. Okay, last sprint. Okay, Jokers, we have a pair of nines. That's where I would start. Eight, nine, dragon. Maybe a quint. I would keep the white dragon. Nine, seven, eight, nine. Five, seven, nine, maybe. Okay, so let's pass these three. Nine, I would keep it. Okay, now we gotta make a choice. Nine, nine, like numbers with nines. Eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's pass these three. Flower, flower, nine. We can let that go. Focus on nines. Pass those. Red, ooh, keeper. We got like numbers, no gaps. I would risk passing the white dragon. Nine, I would keep it. Nine, I would focus on like numbers with nines and let the dragons go. No keepers. I would break up the fours, optional cross. Okay, no keepers, whoops, lap. Okay. Discards, like numbers with nines, jokers to help, like numbers, popular. This is one reason why you don't want to pass like numbers in the Charleston. It's a popular category. Let's see how things went with time. When I do sprints, I take an average of my sprints or try to make decisions and under whatever threshold I set for each sprint. As an advanced player, I set a two minute limit. So we'll see how it goes here. But if you're a beginner, try a four minute limit. And if you are intermediate, try three minutes. Push yourself to make quicker and quicker decisions until you're under that two minute mark. So sprint one, two minutes, 21 seconds. I went over. Sprint two, one minute, 27. That's a wash. Sprint three, one minute, 53. On average, I made it under two minutes, but that 
first sprint, I went over two minutes. I'll have to look at the replay and see what tripped me up. If you have a smartphone or an iPad, record your sprints and see what trips you up. It'll be a great learning experience. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.